Greetings Rotarians. Thank you for joining us today for this edition of A Chat with the District Governor. We're joined today by District Governor David Simmer at his home in Sedona, Arizona. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure, Dan. Thanks for taking the time to come out and visit with me. I wanted to talk a little bit about your priorities for this year, but uh, before we get to that, I'd like to talk a little bit about what you've been up to this first month of your governorship. Yes, the last couple months have actually been uh, very busy with the International Convention in Hamburg, uh, our own district conference uh, in Phoenix, uh, and then of course attending a number of installations, uh, which was great, great fun. A lot of them uh, really festive uh, atmosphere, uh, really wonderful. I just, I really enjoyed that a lot. I see from the official visit calendar on the district website that you've already made some of your visits. How has that gone so far? Yes, uh, my uh, visits actually have started. Uh, I have been working in the rural areas where it's a little cooler. Eventually getting into the fall when the snowbirds are, are more likely to be here, I'll be moving into the valley uh, and of course it'll be a bit cooler then so it's not uh, too bad from that perspective either. It's been rumored that your kids actually paid for the wrap. Is that true? My kids were not in favor of it, but I tell people that I must be very persuasive because they did end up paying for it out of their inheritance. <laughs> the other part of it was, and I think rightfully so, uh, Rotarians were saying that we don't do enough in Rotary to advertise our organization. So I decided with all these miles that I was going to drive around the district that I should showcase rotaries. There's also a rumor going around the district that you're going to raffle the car at the end of the year. Is, is that true? No, I'm not planning on raffling the car at the end of the year, but it does showcase the, uh, the humor of Rotarians. They've been getting a lot of ribbing about that. So let's get to the heart of our conversation. Uh, do you have priorities for this year that you'd like to share with our audience? There are certain areas that I think that we need to call attention to. Uh, the first of those areas is supporting and strengthening the clubs. I want to spend as much time as I can in the individual clubs, and that's why I have chosen to visit each one of the clubs at their time, date, and location to be respectful of the club and its culture and its membership. So that's kind of priority number one for me, but alongside that, We've gone from 19 assistant governors to 29 assistant governors, specifically because we want them to be able to spend more time in support of the clubs. And we've been spending a lot of time with the assistant governors to make sure that they're up to speed with things that are going on in Rotary and the district, as well as the resources that are available to support the clubs. Another reason that we have uh, provided more assistant governors across the district is so that they will have more time to consider adding clubs, satellite clubs, passport clubs, new chartered clubs throughout our district to make Rotary as accessible as possible to prospective members. The first of our Rotary Foundation initiatives is to uh, encourage major donations, new major donations to the Rotary Foundation. So we're going to have a special dinner at the end of the year to recognize those who have made by May 31st of 2020 a new major donation to the Rotary Foundation. And that's defined as $10,000 that would be given uh, in an outright gift to the Rotary Foundation or even an expectancy through an estate plan or a beneficiary designation of $10,000 or more in a new commitment to the Rotary Foundation. 
The second initiative is to encourage Rotarians to use Rotary Direct, the automatic contribution program that is available through the Rotary Foundation to try to automate and save expenses for the Rotary Foundation. We're giving $12,000 away in six $2,000 grants to those clubs that distinguish themselves in the use of Rotary Direct. Again, you can find out more information about that on the rotary5495.org website. Our foundation is one of the best foundation, the best charities in the world. The third area of emphasis is celebrating and supporting uh, Rotary Foundation projects. They're right here in our own backyard. Uh, we can have a tendency to look at the Rotary Foundation as only supporting programs that are across an ocean, certainly across a border, but there are some that are relatively close that we can get to ourselves. Uh, the first that I would emphasize is the Navajo Water Project that was started about four years ago by the Gilbert Rotary Club and then picked up a couple years ago by the Sun Lakes Club in the second iteration, helping people on the Navajo Reservation to achieve running water and electricity in their homes. Uh, it's, it's just tragic that people in uh, Arizona and in our own district do not have running water in their home, that they have to cart water to their home in buckets or get periodic deliveries and are living on seven gallons of de a day for a family of four. The Four Peaks Club out of Fountain Hills is picking this up, uh, this next iteration of the program. So we're very excited. They've made a, a major commitment to it and we very much appreciate that. And the final global grant project that we're going to emphasize is across the border, but it really is in our own backyard. And that is the microcredit program in Mexico with loans of two to $500 are allowing individuals, primarily women and mothers, to start a business to drag their families out of poverty. These short dollars have been able to transform their lives. So that's the other program that we're going to uh, really emphasize this year, that make sure that all Rotary Clubs know about these programs that they could participate in. Thank you, Governor, for taking the time to chat with us today. Well, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. You're welcome anytime. Please uh, don't be a stranger. I'm Dan Bradbury for A Chat with the Governor. We'll see you in our next edition.